best pasta dishes are the ones that have minimal ingredients, just like this one. And of course, there is maximum flavour. This is my spaghetti with sardines. What I love about this is we're going to get the pasta straight into the pot. By the time it's cooked, the sauce will be done. So I'm just using some spaghetti. I'll use half of this packet. And like always with spaghetti, you need some rapidly boiling water, two pinches of salt, and then in with our pasta. And it's going to take about eight minutes to cook. We want it to be al dente because we're going to finish it off in the pan with the sauce later on. So in the pan, a nice large pan. To this, I'm going to add a good glug of oil. So this is an olive oil based sauce. So we want good few tablespoons, let's say four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. To this, we're going to slowly start cooking some garlic. So two cloves of garlic and I just want to thinly slice them. And then we're just going to gently sizzle that away. So into the oil. And I'll just bring the heat up now. And we just want to control that on a medium heat. To this, we can add some chilli. I'm using some chilli flakes. You can add as little or as much as you like. I want about half a teaspoon. I always prefer to add some and then have a taste at the end. If you want it to be a little bit more fiery, add some more. Now, while that's sizzling away, let's get on to the lemon. Now, this has to have a good hit of lemon to it. Because sardines are oily and rich, we want that zing and lightness from it. So I need the zest of two lemons and we need lots of juice too. So zest that, just on a fine grater like this one. And when you're zesting, you want to make sure you don't get too much of the pith. We just want the perfume of the lemon. So just run it over once or twice at most. Second lemon. Finally grate that. You can see you're getting quite a lot there. So we want minimal ingredients but prominent flavours from the sardines and from the lemon. Okay, we'll cut them in half and then we're going to juice one of them. I'm also going to add some parsley to this. So we want the parsley leaves right at the end but at this stage we can add all of these stalks. No wastage here and also they're full of flavour. So finally chop the stalks and then they can also go in. Okay, we've got some good sizzle now, so I'm going to turn the heat up, give that a bit of a jiggle, and once that garlic just starts to turn colour, which it is now, we can add our sardines. The sardines are ready to go, we just need to warm them up. So we'll add one can of sardines, and I don't mind if some of the oil goes in because the oil has some flavour too. So we'll add them, just try not to break them up too much, just separate them because I want it to be chunky in this recipe. All right, let's have a look at the pasta. Like I said, we want it to be al dente. So when you have a little taste of the pasta, it should be just slightly chalky in the centre. Can I have a taste? Oh, just perfect. It's going to continue cooking in the pan. So you do want to take it out of the water a little bit earlier. Nothing worse then overcooked pasta. So we'll pop that in. And this starchy water is the key to a very good pasta. So once you've added all the pasta, you want to add some of that water. So grab yourself a ladle and add about half a ladle full and then pop that back on the heat. And by doing that, we're almost emulsifying the oil with the water, creating a beautiful creamy sauce. We'll add some salt, a pinch of salt, a good crack of pepper, lots of pepper for this one. And this is the time that we add the lemon. Don't add the lemon too early because it will change the freshness of it. So we just want at the last minute, sprinkle that in along with the juice of one whole lemon, lots of that in there. Second one, beautiful. And finally, some cheese. So I'm going to use some Parmesan cheese. Usually they say don't add cheese with seafood, but this is the exception to the rule. This cheese is going to give it some savouriness and also bring that whole sauce together. Give that a stir. And finally, some more parsley. So we'll grab our parsley. Those leaves, we're going to scrunch together. We want a nice, generous handful of that. That should do it. In it goes. 
one last stir. And then into the centre of a bowl. Look at that. See how that sauce has come together? It's just shiny. It's not dripping in the sauce. Pile up the sardines on the top. And there you have it. A dish that takes eight minutes to make. If you've got pasta, olive oil, lemon, and of course, a key ingredient here is sardines, you can make this dish. It's inexpensive, yet absolutely gorgeous.